Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Sam Martin Burr and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the second video in our only two video series where I'm doing kind of Arabic language companions and walkthroughs to some of the things that I mentioned by Dr. Nasser Rashid in some of the lectures that our brother Raihan has published on his YouTube channel, Talk With Ray. So please go and subscribe to his channel as well and go and watch those lectures as well because they're so beneficial. Like I, I absolutely love those lectures. The, 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 one, the one in particular I'm referring to with this video about protecting your family actually had me in bits when I was listening to it. I listened to it in the car when I was by myself and and there's some things that just really hit home, especially for us as fathers and people who are responsible for, uh, um, for our wives and our children. So um, if you haven't watched the previous video, please do, where I talk through the actual ayah, which the whole talk is about. It is the sixth ayah of, of Surah Al-Tahrim. That is what we covered in the previous video. And uh, I'll be referring to it a couple of times when we actually do this video too. So it will probably be useful for you to go and watch that as well. So in maybe the 10th or 11th minute or something, it's over halfway through the talk, um, the Sheikh refers to a Arabic proverb, um, which is a proverb that I've heard in the Arab world as well, as well as in um, Islamic lectures as well, um, outside of the Arab world, where um, the, Sheikh, um, the, the Sheikh quotes the proverb as, الْعِلْمُ فِي الصِّغْرِ كَالنَّقْشِ فِي الْحَجْرِ So I've also heard this um, proverb with a different preposition at the end. I've heard it as, الْعِلْمُ فِي الصِّغْرِ كَالنَّقْشِ عَلَى الْحَجْرِ I've heard both of them. Um, yeah, there's not much difference between them. Just ala means upon and fi means in. Um, but although, I mean, sometimes when we translate prepositions, sometimes they don't line up perfectly with ours. Sometimes fi can be what we would say as on and things like that. So, what does it actually mean? Al-ilm. Many of us know the term al-ilm. Al-ilm means knowledge. Um, yes, knowledge. Uh, but this particular proverb is talking about um, the actual learning, the, the, pro, the, actual, the, the learning at a certain time of your life. So what time of your life? For in in smallness, right? The term sagir means small, sigar, but it's referring to a young age. It's saying knowledge at a young age, right? Or learning something at a young age is like what? It is ka. We have this preposition ka joined onto the word anakshi. Ka means like. We see it in step two of the Arabic in 60 steps program, and it means like. So knowledge in smallness, or what it really means is the knowledge at a young age. It is like what? An naqshi al hajri. It is like an naqshi. An naqsh, an naqsh means engraving, right? When you engrave it to stone, but, um, but, but Arabic uses it in some other ways that we perhaps wouldn't in English. So, so Arabic actually uses it when the women have the henna, not on their hands and stuff like that for, for like Eid or for weddings and stuff like that. You use a naqsh for, for that as well. But it, in, in this case, it really means engraving. It's like engraving. So, Learning when you're small, al-ilm of al-sighri, kan-naqshi, is like the engraving. The, the naqsh, actually, there's, um, there's another verb, tanaqqasha, that I've heard before, which is like embossing. Um, like, for example, my, my lovely Digbat notebook, this is called embossing in the front. I think that's how you pronounce it, embossing, where they've got like a, something printed on the front. That's um, tanaqqasha, and the form three as well, the verb naqasha, which is kind of interesting. The verb naqasha means to debate. A debate is a diqash, um, but naqasha, nunaqishu, we, we are debating. Perhaps debating is when you are trying to engrave your ideas on one another. But perhaps that's the connection. But uh, for this particular proverb, it's just a naqsh. It's just the word engraving. So the knowledge when you're small is like the engraving ala al-hajri or fil hajri. It's like the engraving on the stone. Engraving on stone generally, al-hajar is the term for stone, generally. The term hijara is um, for stones, which we actually saw in the previous um, lesson where we talked about, um, when we were talking about the fire, naran waquduha nasu wal hijara, that the fire of which is, is, is humans and al-hijara, and stones. So it's actually, it's actually the same root here. Um, yeah, we're talking about stones in the previous lesson, and in this one too. So that's everything we need to say. We don't need to long this out too much, um, but useful vocabulary for this lesson. Al-ilm, the knowledge. Fi, in. As-sigr, smallness. Ka, like. and naqsh engraving. Ala, upon. Al-hajar, upon stone. So that's everything for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, then please don't forget to like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.